Hello, Real Mithril here once again, getting back to Adventures of Lalo. Before we really get started today, there is one quick topic I do want to cover. People asked, what happens if you get stuck in a puzzle? For example, I did mention enemies like Leaper and Rocky that can't actually hurt you, but will try and get you just trapped to where you can't do anything. If that happens, you can reset the puzzle by pressing select. This is the give up option. It does cost you a life to do it, but you will get to restart the puzzle, so that's how you get out of that situation. So we don't really have a way to get anything under this Medusa so we can get this heart framer just yet. So instead, we're going to use Snakey to block this direction. And with that, we have another new tool, the bridge. With this, we can cross water. We're going to leave this heart framer for last, though. And instead, we need to do a little bit of prep work. After all, this upper Medusa, it could get us across the river. And that would be a bit of a problem. Now, we don't really have a way to block those skulls, but they're not really going to be much of an issue. So, everything blocked off, grab the last heart framer, and run. And if you're fast enough, the skulls really don't have any idea how to get across the river to come and get you. So, there we go. On this one, we do have an Alma to worry about. Now we don't. We do need to get across this water, and we don't have a bridge. We do, however, have egg magic. You can actually push eggs into the water and use that to cross. You can even ride it if you want. The water does have steady currents that will carry eggs around. However, they usually have points where the eggs will sink, so make sure you're not standing on an egg when it goes underwater, or else you're dead. So, a couple of leapers, we just want to make sure that we don't get trapped by them. And it's nap time for everybody. I think as a kid, leapers were probably my favorites of the enemy designs here. They're just oddly cute. Also, just proof of concept since I mentioned it earlier. Yep, egg magic won't do anything to a sleeping leaper. Okay, so we have a couple of skulls to worry about here. Nothing we can really do with that particular heart framer. Basically, we're just going to pin in the skulls as much as we can. Which, really, simple enough. They shouldn't be causing me any more problems. And now, gulls. Well, you can use half-frame steps to fake them out. You have to be very careful about how much room you have to work with. So, we're going to leave ourselves a safety net here. We're also very safely introduced to desert tiles. These slow you down as you're walking through them. They do not slow enemies down, however. So, be mindful of that. But by saving this heart for last, the galls aren't an issue. Yeah, you can use enemies as blocks, too. So, Floor 3 complete. Floor 4, congratulations! You've just cleared Floor 3. This is not the end of the battle. I like how the more floors you clear, the higher that text gets. 
stacks up on itself. So we have Don Medusas. We're just gonna pin them into the corners. You go right up here. It is worth noting, the treasure chest does not count as a block. So Don Medusas can shoot you through that. taking slightly needless risks here, but I don't know. I just like pinning them in as much as I can. Makes me feel safer. There we go. Everyone has their own little one-block apartment. And... Lalo is the stage. All I have to worry about, though, are snakies. Given that you have two shots, it's easy to assume that what you need to do is blow that snaky down there away to get the heart behind it, but it doesn't actually have any egg magic. So instead, we're gonna go this way. You have to be a little bit quick here. And not step back off the egg until you're ready. And there we go. But yeah, as you can see at the end there, the egg was sinking. So yeah, if that happens, get off quickly. Once again, just a lot of enemies that we kind of want to block off if we can. But also notably, only one heart framer. So this one's all about the prep work, really. Then making sure that you don't trap yourself in one way or another. You have to be mindful of how much room you have to maneuver. should do the trick, though. Everybody's all nicely blocked off. Nice when you can get away with something like that, but they're not always going to be that generous with cover. Okay, so we have a bit of stuff going on here. And that Don Medusa to worry about. Be very mindful of where he's traveling. We're gonna save the heart framer down there next to the goal for last. And there, you can't do anything to us anymore. Thankfully we get egg magic from that heart framer. That is one thing, puzzles can take a little bit of experimentation just to see where you're going to get egg magic, because there's not really a tell between a heart framer that will give it to you and one that won't. Quite a gathering here. So we're just gonna block you off. We'll put this up here. Use another to take care of the normal Medusa. And then we block things on this side. We don't have to worry about the gulls at all, and everybody else is blocked off. So that, 4-4 four, four complete. 4-5, four, congratulations, you have just cleared floor 4. This is not the end of the battle. But again, it is the end of the video. 
So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.